What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost. And once again, all it takes is one simple statement, one tweet from Harry Potter author JK Rowling to demonstrate to the world just how truly insane and deranged the woke mob has become. These people are truly lunatics. And in the case of JK Rowling, we have seen that if you step outside the woke echo chamber by one bit, if you put one toe out of line, one opinion that they don't agree with, that doesn't align with their narrative, they will try to get you canceled. They will try to get you destroyed and they will never relent. Well, JK Rowling continues to speak her mind and say terrible, terrible things like, biology is a fact. I know that's offensive to some people. I know that might trigger some people. But J.K. Rowling is going to continue to say it. And it all started yesterday with this tweet. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. That's obviously a quote from 1984. Something that people are bringing up more and more because when you look at the world around us, it's kind of impossible to ignore all of the signs. And that adds something else. The penis individual who raped you is a woman. And the reason that she is saying that is because of this article from The Times absurdity of police logging rapists as women. And that's what's going on. That's what J.K. Rowling is talking about. J.K. Rowling scolds police for documenting male rapists as women. Author J.K. Rowling continued her crusade against radical transgender ideology Sunday when she publicly scolded Scottish police for documenting these people as women. So People that are doing horrific, horrific crimes, terrible things, and the woke mob, spoiler alert, is more concerned with potentially misgendering someone than about the actual crime itself. This is insanity. In her tweet on Sunday, the Harry Potter author shared an article from the Times highlighted the absurdity of the practice while reciting three slogans from George Orwell's 1984. According to the Times, Police Scotland said, that they would log these crimes as being carried out by a woman if the accused person insists, even if they have not legally changed gender. The shift in documentation comes as the Scottish government reportedly wants to, quote, remove medical checks for those seeking a gender recognition certificate and shorten the time people have to live as their new gender before it's legally recognized. So you can go out there with your male genitalia and you can do this terrible thing to a woman. And then even if you like, even if you haven't been living like this, even if you have not been trying to legally change your name, if you just say, well, just so you know, I identify as a woman, you get documented as a woman. And guess where you're going to go to jail too. Is that really what we want to happen? Is that really where we want to set the path down? Well, for the woke echo chamber, that is exactly the case because JK Rowling is catching a ton of flack from these lunatics. Now, don't get it crazy. There's a lot of people that support her. In fact, from what I've seen, the vast majority of people support J.K. Rowling because what can you not support in this statement? It is insane. The idea that you would try to classify these people who at the snap of a finger have just decided that's how they identify, regardless of anything that happened before, as women. This is nuts. But J.K. Rowling has continued to talk about this over and over and over again. She has nothing to gain from this. Yet she continues to talk about it because that's just how she feels. And when you scroll through, when I scroll through my replies, the vast majority of people are supportive, right? Adam Krigler, anyone who has a penis is a man. Nerd Roddick, damn, a fantasy author that can finish her books in a satisfying manner and practice common sense, a rare thing. There's Lauren, thank you for calling out the insanity. You do have one guy here. You literally have a castle and you spend your time doing this. Yes, this person has nothing to gain. J.K. Rowling has nothing to gain by doing this other than what she feels is right. There's no cloud to Jason. There's nothing like that. But she feels this strongly about this topic and is continuing to speak out about it. Thank you. Truth is not partisan. Uh, and that and that's a decent mix here. You have someone, is that the title of the next Harry Potter book, says Dolan Dark. This person tried to ratio her with Linus. The, these are the people, the people, uh, trans being, she, her, and bio, insane, deranged individuals. Those are the people that are having the freakouts and the meltdowns right now. But we can go through some of the things I saw because I want to see some of the different responses that people are having and how some people are already trying to shift the narrative into an argument that she is completely not making. 
speaking because they despise her. They hate J.K. Rowling and they want her canceled. They are mad that she's successful. They're mad that she still has all this money from Harry Potter and they will not be satisfied until they have wiped her off the face of the earth. That's truly what their goal is when it comes to J.K. Rowling. Um, who knew that the real Voldemort was J.K. Rowling all along? Not super creative. I've heard that one a lot. Just saying. Uh, Francis Wheatman, you have to wonder just how far the internet rabbit hole someone has to be before they wind up denouncing J.K. Rowling for misgendering a rapist. Imagine thinking misgendering is the most important point there. Perspective. Um, some, look at this. Thank you. You have no idea how important your voice is or how much it means to women and girls. And there are a lot of people, there are a lot of feminists who are very supportive of what JK Rowling is saying, because there has been this push to ignore biology, to ignore science. And that doesn't sit well with the vast majority of people, women included. Uh, then we have some other ones. Since we're stuck in this hell world loop of having J.K. Rowling constantly trend for being a terrible transphobic bigot, I would also like to remind everyone she was openly fat phobic from the beginning of the Harry Potter books. Her fat phobic language is dehumanizing. So now it has evolved, now it's past trans. Even though J.K. Rowling has said multiple times she supports transgender people, she supports the right to exist, she supports all this. What she refuses to say though is that they are biological women. Uh, that has been her very consistent platform from the very beginning. But uh, people want to call her transphobic. They want to call her all these different things. Now they're moving the goalpost to fat phobic somehow. Not quite sure. Uh, why is this how you want to be remembered? Why is this the hill you've chosen? What do you ha stand to gain from this? You have nothing to lose, but we stand to lose everything. I actually disagree. J.K. Rowling has a ton to lose. Uh, when you have, when you're someone that has that much, you actually have a lot to lose, but I agree. She has nothing to gain from this, which tells you this is how she believes. This is what she feels. This isn't a virtue signal. This is someone who truly, truly feels this way. Um, JK Rowling trying to make trans women out to be her rapist is a new low. That is not what that was saying. And again, this is how these people will try to change it and shift the argument and shift the narrative because they are deceitful. They are disgusting individuals. That's not what she's saying. She's commenting on this article where if someone does this to someone, this terrible crime, and then they just snap their fingers and say, well, I identify as this, they will be classified as that. Nowhere is she saying that, well, all trans people are doing this or anything like that. You are have to be insane to think that way, but these people actually are insane. Uh, it's part of the turf tactics, and it goes to show how far down the transphobia rabbit hole she's gone. Trans women are not horrendous. Well, they could be. What do you mean? We've literally seen that happen. Multiple occasions of that happening. So I don't know where you're really going with this. Are you just trying to deceive people completely? Activists are insane. J.K. Rowling saying the stupidest shit on the internet again today is a reminder that supporting Harry Potter is still considered a massive red flag by trans people, regardless of your nostalgia attachment to it. I love Harry Potter, just saying. But it's a mix of the reaction to be sure. I think that by and large, the vast majority of people agree with J.K. Rowling that this is insane, that what they're attempting to do, how they're attempting to change language, how they're attempting to change classifications and biology and science is truly insane. But there's a group of people out there that will not stop until J.K. Rowling is completely canceled and gone from this earth. That is what they want. That is their end goal. J.K. Rowling continues speaking out for what she believes in. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.